Patty Pimlet gave a response. She's responding to Matt Frivola. So just to, just to back up, in case you've been asleep for a couple of days, Matt Frivola has a fight over the weekend during the pay-per-view. He gets post-fight interview. He calls out Patty the Batty. Now, a number of guys have called out Patty the Batty a number of times. It's kind of hard to get a reaction from him. But Patty accepted this fight. He said, yeah, I'll fight you. That would be my path into the top 15. Patty then did a poor me. I mean, most ba badasses don't do the poor me. I was a little bit surprised, but I've been surprised by Patty along the way a number of times where he is just not the guy that we were told he is. He's not the guy we thought that he was. He's a very real and even sensitive, nice young man. I mean, I've just got to say that about him because Patty comes out and he says, look, you called me out while I'm hurt. You called me out while I'm injured. You called me out after I had a surgery. And I did have to think about that for just a moment. Because I would never want to kick Patty when he was down or rush him. Listen to your doctors. That all sounds like really good stuff. What do you mean that you're hurt? I mean, what do you, what do you got? How bad is this? Truck Gordon, who's the one that hurt you, so we've been told or so we would assume because it was your last opponent. Truck Gordon went hurt. Truck Gordon lost the fight and didn't get hurt. You won the fight and did. Okay, fair enough. Weird things happened to your body. Truck Gordon's fought again. He's gone through training camps, gone through competitions. He's now out of fight and looking for his next fight. In, in all fairness, what kind of medical attention are you getting out there? Are we doing this in the UK? Like, is this a commentary on the UK medicine? Do we need to get you to the States? What about it is hurt? Let's start with that. That's your private business, but you've told us. I just can't remember what you said. You said it was your ankle or it was your knee. Am I close? Am I right? Wait, was it a shoulder? Was it an elbow? What was it? And what in the hell is it that you think it's appropriate for your medical team to be taking this long. And I say this in support of you. I say this with actual concern for you. What is it that got hurt? And what in the hell is taking so long? And it's a real thing. I mean, if Patty's saying that and he's laid up and he's cooped up, I mean, I know it didn't stop him from doing some stuff. It didn't stop him from social media. It didn't stop him from going to the podcast that sadly nobody's listening to. So where's the injury? It, it only hurts when you run. It only hurts when you lift. It only hurts when you exercise. What kind of an injury do we have and what steps are they taking to make it go away? And please don't judge anything in my tone as me. This is serious. If a guy's hurt in his health, this is very serious. But, but what is it? Who is treating you? You come over to my house, you might need to lay low for Musada. But in four days, I will have you back. Snippity snap. I mean, th this isn't a big deal. I don't think there was even a surgery that was undergone. Let's say that there was. Do you know how long this has been? The opponent that did it to you has already fought. He already had the hype and the who, and can we get a rematch and found out it was no and moved on to somebody else, did a press tour and did all, all these different, many, many, many months and you're still hurt. What do you mean you're hurt? You're hurt or you don't feel good. Matt doesn't feel good. Matt didn't feel good when he called you out. We fight when we don't feel good. What, what do you mean? This is ridiculous. This is an unacceptable amount of time. Not for you and your career, for your medical team. If they do not have you back by now, leave the pool. Come to Chael's house. Call the long weekend. I'm not joking about this. This should, this should have been fixed. This is not okay that it's not. It is not okay that you can go get around, not show any kinds of excruciating pain. You can move your body in front of the world in the form of a podcast, but as soon as it involves anything that could create a sweat or be mistaken for a preparation for this sport, you're too, you're too hurt to do it. Your doctors are not doing you favors. Come see Uncle Chael.